Hello, this is Professor Nadia, and this week we will be discussing an article written by Nathaniel Rich for the New York Times. The article describes the existence of a species called Turritopsis, also known as a mortal jellyfish. This unique species of hydra is able to age in reverse. That is, at any given stage in its life cycle, this jellyfish is able to return to its earliest stage of life, known as a polyp, and then start anew, thus avoiding death altogether. This aging in reverse has allowed the jellyfish to attain the name of the Benjamin Button jellyfish. The article altogether provided an informative and inspiring tone. As Rich delves deeper into the study, he meets many hopeful scientists, notably Dr. Shin Kubota, who believe that immortality is very real for humans and just around the corner. The science of how these jellyfish are able to reverse their aging is still being heavily studied, but many scientists have room to believe it involves a telomeric-like mechanism within the organism. Now, most people may be thinking, well, just because we see it in a microscopic jellyfish does not mean it can happen into more, let's say, complex organisms such as humans. But the facts state otherwise. Human genes show a striking similarity with hydra or jellyfish genes, and this correlation is part of what makes many scientists very confident in their bet for immortality. There, although there is much more to it than just living longer and forever, immortality contains many consequences. Although aging can be reversed at will, people could still die from physical injury. Despite being immortal, humans and Turritopsis alike were easily killed. They're miracles of nature, but they're not complete, Kubota acknowledged. They're still organisms. They're not holy. They're not God. Now, let me ask, what do you think of immortality? Should it be a goal for our race, or should we simply give in to nature? Tell me what you think.